All right. Uh, welcome to our first ever uh, interview for the Woods Cross High School alumni of uh, who graduated in 1996. <laughs> and our first interviewee is uh, Tyler Anderson. And I'm, of course, Mark Morris, along with uh, Heather Overly, formerly known as Heather Tittenzer. So thank you, Tyler, for uh, joining us for this very first interview. Uh, I really appreciate it. I've, I've missed you <laughs> and uh, missed talking with you, missed doing things with you. Um, I, I'm so happy to be able to, uh, to uh, find out what's going on in your life these days and what's happened over the last, I mean, how old are we now? I, I don't know. Uh, over the last few years, at least. <laughs> So please uh, tell us what's, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. Where, where do you want me to start, Mark? Thanks, first of all, for inviting me. And so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it can only get better from here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, so um, let's see. We graduated in 1996. What's that happened since then? I guess chronologically, we, we could kind of go that way. So, yes, um, yeah, so I, I went to, uh, after college, I went to uh, Snow College for a couple of quarters, I guess, back then. And then I left and served a, a mission in, in Bolivia, Cochabamba, Bolivia. Um, got back and worked a little bit and then started going back. I went to Snow College and... Um, Ended up meeting my wife there. Um, and then because no college is only a two-year school, um, ended up going up to Utah State after that. Uh, up where in the north where Heather lives. <laughs> what do you call that place? The cheese land or um, I forgot. Cheese what land. Well, I forgot the, what the Cash, Cash Valley. Valley. Cash Valley is what we call it. Cash Valley, yeah. okay. Yes. Yeah, so went up there for a few years, uh, graduated, moved back down to the Salt Lake area, and um, had our had our first child uh, back in 2003, and then uh, so our first was a girl, and then we've had four more boys, and then it's just been busy, busy ever since. You know, working just the usual kind of stuff. Wow, that's great. So, say so how many do you have? In, how many kids do you have again? I have five. Five kids. Uh, yeah. How many boys and girls? Uh, four boys and one girl. And she, wow. she's the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. You've met a couple of the younger ones. So. Yes. Mark, I, I yeah. remember that. Yeah. Did, so, yeah. Didn't they, didn't they play soccer? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. We played soccer. <laughs> um, but. That's so awesome. they're, they're, they're pretty good athletes. So, yeah. That's great. So, so can, I, mean, can I ask a question? I was going to say, um, you said you went to Utah State. What did you graduate in and what's your field of work that you're working in? Um, so I, I graduated business administration with focus in marketing. I ended up getting a, a minor in Spanish as well. Um, but I I don't use my degree to all all that much. I, I work in the healthcare industry and uh, I'm a data analyst. So I work with a lot of numbers and so that's a lot awesome. of coding and technical stuff. Oh, that's great. Actually, uh, I, 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 I'm very familiar with both of those areas, health industry and uh, data entry, um, IT. That's do you kind go of into I work or do you work from home? Uh, I work from home. Yeah. So uh, everybody in my company, we're a small company, we're, we're all remote. So yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a good, it's been a good career choice. I've been in it for about five years. And so uh, there's always a need for it. And, and uh, so I, I originally started out in sales and kind of decided that wasn't for me. And and made a career change after that. So I've been in the healthcare industry for about 15 years now. Hmm. Awesome. Where, where do you uh, live now? I live in Harriman. In Harriman. Yeah. 
my, my Utah geography, I just we're, we're, <laughs> well back. Oh, oh Mark, you have, to, you have to realize back back in 1996, Harriman hardly even existed. It was basically dirt roads, uh -huh. and there was nothing out here. And uh, about early 2000s, they started building houses out here. And now I, I think we're maybe the fifth largest, fifth or sixth largest city in Utah. There's about 70,000 people here, so it's it's really big. Awesome. What, is There's it of, south of Salt Lake? Of or, Go ahead. Where, where is it in, in location to Salt Lake City? It's the most southwest corner of the Salt Lake Valley. So I'm still in Salt Lake County. So it's west of Riverton toward the mine. Ah. So if you're up in Riverton and you just kept heading west towards the mine, you'd eventually hit Harriman. Interesting. There's yeah, lots I, of what there's lots of Woods Cross alumni that live out in Harriman in this area. So I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. So I was just barely in Utah not too long ago, and I was driving down to Provo from uh, Salt Lake City, and it just amazed me how big it is now. Like there's buildings everywhere. There's everywhere, yeah. I, I couldn't I, even even Thanksgiving Point was just a yeah. Little, Heck, it seemed like compared to everything around it now. Yeah, yeah. Lehigh, Saratoga Springs, there's just building everywhere. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. That's crazy. All right. Well, um, let's see here. So so you, you basically stayed in Utah. You've been doing uh you worked for, first in uh sales and moved transition into um health industry and data mm -hmm. analytics and all right well great i mean what do you do for hobbies these days um other than being a shuttle driver um i try to do some fishing um after high well i should say after, after high school yes but i i don't know about you mark but I, I know a lot of our friends you know skied when they were young i didn't i didn't ski so um, I, at some point, like my mid twenties, late twenties, I decided I should probably take up skiing. So I ended up learning how to ski. And so that's something I really enjoy doing. And so if, uh, you know, mountain biking, I try to do a little bit of that and, uh, fishing and, and traveling when I can, I guess. Where do you right. like to go skiing? Where's your favorite? Uh, I I'd say Alta. Uh, I I take my kids a lot to Brighton, but um, out of all the places I've been, I've been to three or four of the resorts, three or four of the re resorts. But I really like Alta the most. Cool. And your kids all place. ski too? Uh, yeah, yeah, they all ski. Yeah. That's so cool. And they're, uh, they're me. They're really good. They're really good skiers. They, uh, they, I don't know what it is. They have like this athletic gene. And so I, I look like a really good ski instructor. They've never done any ski school and they just figure it out somehow. I have no idea how. I think kids can pick it up so much quicker. All my kids ski so good. And I, I'm on the bunny slopes like every time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a great thing. If you're in Utah, you might as well learn how to ski. So you have right. something to do in yeah. the winter. Exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And Mark I, has I, just bunny hills to go down. He has, you know, they out in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these, uh, these Easter East coast ski slopes are just like hills. Yeah. They're, they're, the black diamonds are bunny slopes. Yes. So yeah, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I enjoy. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> where, where do you go fly fish or do you do you fly fish you said or regular fish I, I I don't I don't uh I'd like to fly fish or learn how to fly fish but I just try to go here place places nearby me you know sometimes if we're closer to the UN is I'll go up there and just fish with bait or just you know lures and stuff like that so I'm not much of a lake fisherman because I don't have my own boat or whatever so Usually I'm trying to, you know, fish on the rivers. Uh, we did a, we did a rafting trip this year, um, me and my boys. And so we, we fished the green river down by Moab. So that's pretty fun. Oh, that's awesome. 
So you said you like to travel some when you can. What's a place that you've gone either just with your family or by yourself? What's one of your favorite places that you've traveled to? Uh, Thai, I went to Thailand about five years ago. It was, it was amazing. Like, cause I'm just so used to like, uh, I guess I, I've been, you know, I served a mission in Bolivia, so I'm used to speaking Spanish and traveling down there, but like traveling in Asia is just so different and it's just eye opening because you're like, wow, how do I get around? How do I function? Were people uh, so, kind and did most of them could speak English to you or did you have to use your um, Yeah, they, they have limited limited English skills, but they, they do pretty well because it's where I went was a pretty touristy area. Mm -hmm. But like just in terms of like how beautiful it is, I, I'm sure it's a lot like Vietnam or the Philippines or other places in Southeast Asia. But, um, you know, Mark, you've been to Japan before. But it's just very, uh, I don't know. You're just out of your element because you're like, wait, how do I deal with, you know, getting around? So, it, but it's, it's a good thing. You know, you're trying to, trying to figure out how to get around, but it's, it's just amazing. Like just the scenery and everything. It's just so different. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. So what, what were you doing in uh, Thailand? Just uh, our, uh, some of the company I worked for at the time, the whole company went out to Thailand like a company trip. So, mm. and I'd always wanted to go to Thailand. So I ended up going. You didn't get sick while you were there, I hope, right? I didn't, I didn't what? You get sick by chance or get a food? No, poisoning? I didn't get sick. No. Okay, good. I'm glad. But the reason why I ask is because um, we, we'd um, send Marines to Thailand quite a bit and it seemed okay. like. We send them over there they always got food poisoning they always got food poisoning okay yeah i was i i did i i've had my experiences eating street food and i'm like you try to stay away from the street food and that's usually when you get sick okay yeah <laughs> that's smart well besides thailand i mean is there any other like bucket list places that you you want to go still in your life or you oh think? i've I, I want to go everywhere. So I, it's going to take me a long time to hit, you know, everything on my bucket list. So, um, Name yeah. I, what's that? Name a few places. Oh boy. I, yeah, I, I talk about it all the time. You know, I think about that. I'm kind of, I want to, I wish I could travel more, but, um, Spain would be like up there. Um, Southeast Asia would be up there. Cancun. I haven't been to Cancun yet. I've, or it's amazing. I wanted to go there since I was a kid. Um, and then, oh, there was one other place I was thinking about. Why does it come to mind? Uh, um, yeah, I don't remember. We can come back to that. But um, yeah, basically, basically Spain um, and uh, and Cancun. Or probably somewhere in Southeast Asia because there's a lot more to explore there. That's Good cool. places to go. Have you been back to your uh, mission spot in Bolivia since you've been back? Uh, I yeah, I have. That's a good question. So I've been back a couple times. Um, once in the early 2000s, they had a temple dedication down there, so I ended up going to that, and that was a lot of fun. And then about five years ago, we ended up doing a mission reunion down there. Um, and that was just, that was even more amazing. I, I can't even describe it. Just being able to kind of reconnect with people that you haven't seen in a long time and stuff that, you know, you, I may never be able to see certain people again. And so it was kind of unique to have, you know, a group of 30 or 40 of us all at one time. And it's yeah. not like your traditional mission reunion because, I had a lot of native companions and so I was able to see all those people too. And, and just, I got to do a lot of things I I've never been able to do before while I've been down there. So that were really, really cool experiences. Wow. Did you get to take your wife with you? No, she, I I've told her too many stories about Bolivia that I've kind of scared her away. So <laughs> I, that's fair. <laughs> it, it's not, it's, it's a place for the adventurous uh, heart. Let's say that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You got to have a special kind of mindset, you know, Yeah. you're, 
you're anytime you're in South America, you're walking into very unknown, uncertain territories at times. Yeah. So, <laughs> it, so, so speaking of people you haven't seen for a while or done stuff with a lot for a while, have you done anything recently or over the years with some alumni from Woods Cross or friends? You know, from I like like actual like do stuff like actually like activity wise or just reaching out to people or anything well i i mean going back to what i talked about before that i mean there's you know there's a few folks out here in harm and some alumni so i've gotten to run into people um i who, ended up who, sorry what's up name name a few of them who, who's out there i'm curious uh liz liz white so formerly liz uh castleberry Okay, got it. Uh, Crystal. I have to get Liz, Liz on here. <laughs> Crystal Braid. Sorry, I'm got. I've got to think a, a minute. Crystal Braden. Braden Bracken. Bra yes, oh, that's right. Bracken. Now, yes, we'll have to get Crystal also. Um, I've I've heard Ryan Angus lives out near near me somewhere in Riverton, something of that effect. I could be wrong, so if anyone knows, you know, don't take my word for it. Good That's right. the rumor. Um, let's see who else. Um, I know I'm missing a few. Oh, Jill, Jill Toronto Finn. Oh yeah. Oh, she lives out there too. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't live too far from me. At least I'm. I think. Um, but Harriman's pretty big, so. Um, those are the kind of the ones that come to my uh, just off the top of my head. Um, I had the chance to reconnect with uh, Todd Barnett uh, last fall, so yeah, I ended up buying a car from Todd. So oh, cool! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So, do your do you have kids in high school? I do. Yeah. So I've got a senior in high school, and then one she finished her first year at BYU last year. Now she's. Uh, She's serving a mission in Brazil. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you, um, did any of your kids or, uh, cause you were really involved in wrestling. Did any of your kids like want to take up wrestling cause of you or. No. Yeah. Yeah. That that's, that's come up a few times and I I've tried to, I've tried to encourage them to do wrestling and they're just like, no, I I'm good. <laughs> They'd rather do the soccer. You said they were kind of soccer. Um, yeah, a few of them just kind of done the rec league soccer. A couple have done like comp soccer for a few years. And then they've played all kinds of different sports. And most of them have ended up doing um, basketball and baseball. Huh. So they're pretty heavy into, into those. So nice. I got one in track, but. Yeah, we're we're we consider ourselves a baseball family primarily, but they're equally as good at uh, basketball as well. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah, very athletic family. That's great. Good good thing they're not like me. <laughs> You're athletic. You're totally <laughs> athletic. Uh, <laughs> you, can add, you can ask some of my close friends that I ended up playing baseball with. I, I was not the, the most athletic kid. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you know, I remember back in the uh, during our high school time, um, always meeting with the three of us. Yeah. In uh, remember Skinny, Mr. Hill's room, and you you always played Sticks, the band. You, you know the music. Remember that? You're I like Sticks. You're a what big Sticks fan. The band. Oh, bit. okay. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. I, I think I was kind of into the, you know, sticks the band. Are you yeah. still into that or are you, what do you listen to now? You know, I, I think my, my musical taste has kind of been a little more diverse. So I've, I kind of listened to everything. So, um, but I still, I still really love the old stuff. Like the stuff that was kind of popular when we were, you know, growing up. So Okay. It's always good to listen to like Pearl Jam or uh, Nirvana or uh, Soundgarden, stuff like that. So kind of just, or Van Halen, 
<laughs> uh, stuff like that. Just kind of stuff that makes you think of, you know, the, the 90s, you know. <laughs> so speaking of high school, what is one of your favorite memories thinking back, like in your high school days when you're thinking, that, you know, what is something that you kind of look back fondly from high school? You know, that, that's, a, that's a good question. I tried to put some thought into this as, as we've talked uh, about that. Um, that. That's why we have Heather. She has, she's a good deep thinker. Yeah, yeah. Heather's the deep thinker. <laughs> we, we were no, never. We, we, Mark and I execute really well. We need some balance here. Yeah. <laughs> we always needed Heather there to offset that. Um. I, I don't know something because uh, as I've been to going or I'm sorry, I'm going to slow down because I'm just kind of rambling on at times. Uh, so I've kind of like noticed what my kids do in high school or like I'll go to like a basketball game or I'll see what they're involved in in high school. And it kind of takes me back and makes me think, OK, well, what what did I enjoy? Or, you know, you have the atmosphere fear to, at a basketball game or whatever. And I kind of miss those sort of like activities, just the camaraderie and the the energy from like a football game or a basketball game. I I thought a lot about that, and and I think it's just that sort of environment, you know, just having everybody in one place, getting really excited. Kind um, of like a unifying um, feeling. Yeah. you're kind of a part. Yeah, of I love that unified feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. So I think that's what I miss the most. Yeah, you know you can still go to those games. What's that? Still go to those Woods Cross games. <laughs> not the same. It's not the same. It's it's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> Feel that energy again over the the, uh, the stadium there. Or... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I can still go. I mean, maybe I should show up at some of the Woods Cross games, and it's not that far away. So. <laughs> Checked out on all your Woods Cross apparel. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear my Leatherman jacket. <laughs> hey, maybe we can do that as part of the YouTube channel. Yeah, that would be great. Do a, <laughs> a video. <laughs> and everybody will be looking at me. Yeah. We're like, who are you? Why do you have this, like, 96 Leatherman jacket on? <laughs> You're a weirdo. That'll be a future one. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well... We're almost to eight o'clock and we, we promised to keep this kind of short. Is there anything else that you wanted to share with us before we close? Um, let's see. I think it'd be good to kind of end on a note and maybe discuss among the group, like uh, who, who do we want to see interviewed? Cause I think there's a lot of interesting stories out there and I, you know, I have my own ideas. Um, yeah. Mark's, of course, super in interesting. He's the international traveler. No, <laughs> no, no. I, I do the interviewing. <laughs> Talk about my stuff anyway, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so who do you think would be fun to see get interviewed or somebody that you'd want to connect with? Um, I, I've thought about the really interesting, well, there's lots of interesting people, so don't get me wrong. So if I don't, Name your name. Don't feel bad, okay? Because I would love to hear from a lot of people. But um, You're gonna be a Jay, Jason Rush would always be a good interview. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Jason Jason Coombs would be a great interview. Mm -hmm. um, he'd have a he's he'd have a lot of experiences to talk about um, in his life that would be good. I think for everybody. Um, and I'm trying to think, I don't know. That's the thing from, uh, I wish I, I would have connected more, you know, since we graduated from high school with a lot of people. So I, I haven't really, even with you guys, I've had limited experiences, um, after high school, but it, it would be fun to connect more and understand, you know, where people are. Uh, Matt Kerr might have some interesting things to share. Yeah, um, he's, he's done some interesting things. Great traveling experiences and with his family. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. Anything else you want to share before we end? 
Mm, no, I think we're good. Go Woods Cross. You know, I, the thing that I was, I haven't really, I haven't seen you for a long time, but you have not aged. Like you look so young still, like in a good way, in a good way. Yeah. I like, I, wow. You don't. Well, the, yeah. Those anti-aging pills are really working. <laughs> we're both new and it, it, Yeah. And it, it also helps when you have Tom Cruise jeans. So. Oh yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that, I still look like, yeah, that's the other thing. Um, you know, hopefully I don't look too young and my wife keeps getting aging quicker than I do. You know? <laughs> I've, I've got many more stories about me looking too young, so we'll have to share those another time. You have to be uh -oh. careful there, Tyler. You can't say your wife is aging and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying if that happens, if that like happens. what if, what oh. if I look like I'm 35, you know, 45, and she ends up looking like she's 60, and it's like, wow. What's going on here? Yeah. Is this your son? They would say to her and she'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have another conversation offline. We have, I have some pretty funny stories about that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah There's some good ones. Well, this has been really fun. I'm excited that we're starting this and thank you for being our, our test. But I, I think you were the perfect person to interview. This was really enlightening and fun. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Perfect. The perfect starter person, you know, oh, like it really said, was. Get yeah, better really from here. So, you know, we'll learn from this. We'll be yeah. like, don't ask this question. Don't ask that question. <laughs> Look what Tyler did here. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do what, don't do what I did. So well, yeah. Cool. Well, hey. It's been a pleasure, Tyler. Thank you so much for answering all the questions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No problem guys.